Good afternoon. <clears throat> My name is Joe Bandel, and I am the last Rosicrucian. Today is the 20th of June, uh, 2024, and it is the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. Now, I thought I would share something. So the title of this the title of this video is Oak, Tantra, and Etheric Warrior Training. What I have decided to do, let me go back, go around again. I've spent the last several months, I've been trying to de decide what direction I should go. It's like I'm at a closure point on certain things and other things. It's like it's time to move on to other projects. It's time to devote myself more completely to certain things. And after taking some real time, some time to really examine what's in my heart and what I really want to do, what what I would really like to do. Um, what I feel led to do is to share some of the things that I've learned that I've learned in a lot of time, that I've learned through hard work and I've learned through personal experience that I think might be of interest to other people. So I am offering uh, what you call Tantra and Etheric Warrior training. But it is only going to be available to people that support me on my Patreon, Patreon channel. My Patreon channel is patreon.com slash anarchist banjo. And all I'm saying is it's five, it's to five bucks a month to support what I'm trying to do. Now I have offered, literally I've offered thousands of posts over the years trying to share what I know, trying to share some of the best that I have to offer and done it for free. And this is really the first time that I have said, hey, I really want to put my heart and my soul into providing the best training and the best information that I know of. And I expect to be reciprocated a little bit by it. In other words, I'm not going to put it out there like I've been putting out everything else. It's going to but on the other hand, five dollar asking five dollars a month is just like a cup of coffee. Okay, it's not. It's not like the the bank or anything like that. But I got to thinking, what is what is the dream that I have? And I've been doing these meditations, you know, offering these meditations, these energy ball meditations, and these group portal meditations. And they've gradually evolved. They and they they've evolved into what you call what I call the group portal meditations, where you're in an, you're in a meditation, and I and other a lot of other people who have done these meditations literally find themselves sitting. They sense that they're in a group of other people, of other soul group, members of their soul group. And this training is only for those people. It's only for people that are 
called to it. And to be truthful, I could care less about trying to get people interested in it because that's not how it works. In fact, nowadays, there is so much energy that I channel that goes through me and that goes through these posts that people will be strongly attracted. The right people will be strongly attracted and the wrong people will be strongly repelled. And I want to assist that process if you, and by saying this is only available to Patreons, that's one way of doing this. It's basically because the energetics, the, the new earth is here and the energetics of the new earth really are alternating current and they're really instant karma, basically, if you will. So if I'm putting out quality information, there's should there's going to be something coming back, something appropriate coming back. That's all. That's that's the way I look at looking at it. And looking at the material that I want to share, tantra. Most of what I have done, most of what's responsible for. I've developed all my astral bodies, including the etheric body. This has primarily been done following a tantric type path. So I can talk from personal experience about this particular method of soul development. And I have literally been through thousands of astral conflicts. And I can tell you very much about uh, empowering yourself, taking care of yourself on the etheric planes. This is the important thing. Gaia now has two primary energy sources. One is the unity source, which is way up here. The other is the womb of creation source, which is the root chakra source. It's down there. And as far as I know, I'm the only one that's talking about full spectrum ascension, full spec working with full spectrum energies. Just about everybody else is either, okay, you pick this, you pick the spiritual light source, you pick the earth source. I'm talking about both, the, the one, the path that builds a bridge that has full spectrum. Everybody else talking about 5D, 4D, whatever. I'm talking about the earth. I'm talking about the shaman. I'm talking about, well, let me put it this way. If you... If you understand that every 2,000 years another chakra center is activated and that chakra center becomes the dominant energy for the next 2,000 years, what has happened is we have just gone from this one, the third eye, to the crown or one octave, the this not the crown, but the unity, but also the root chakra because they're both an octave of each other. That's why you have Earth A, Earth B. One's going to the womb of creation, one's going up to source. But each 2,000 years, a mystery school develops surrounding the active, the dominant uh, energy. 
makes sense. So it's been 16,000 years since the root chakra has been the dominant uh, source of power. And I'm trying to recreate, I'm trying to go back and trying to, in a modern context, in a modern world, trying to offer training that has that goes way back and, and there's been the pieces here and there different schools different traditions they've all there's a little part of that of each of these valid schools valid traditions that knows about what I'm teaching. But a lot of times they've kind of cluttered it or they've made it a lot more complicated than what we're really talking about because what I'm talking about is powerful, but it's also purely mechanical. And I'm talking about getting results. What I'm talking about is you can you can put it on okay you need to be able to function in an altered state what that means is some kind of medica not medication some kind of meditation to kind of get you in an altered state uh, and what type of meditation that is can really be direct and more powerful than other kinds of meditations. For example, source as a power source and the womb of creation or earth, the earth core, both are very powerful power sources. And it is possible to tap into those and channel that energy directly. So what I'm talking, and this is what I this is what I teach through personal experience, and that I can help with. Because, and I'm going to say it right now: anybody who thinks of raising energy for a magical operation and they're they're thinking oh i'm going to use dancing i'm going to use chanting i'm going to use this or i'm going to use that drumming or whatever they are not talking about channeling or tapping into one of these power sources they are using the physical body as a power source and it's realistically using the physical body as a power source is needed in the beginning to, to, to get anything done because that's, that's how it works is to use the physical body to generate the energy that's required. However, the goal is to permanently activate each astral body or etheric body, whatever, whatever you have, to permanently activate them so you don't need those crutches. So that's <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about. And when an when an energy body is permanently activated, you don't need all this ritual or things like that because it's there you have these abilities all it, what's really needed is to know how to direct how to how to work how to do those things so the meditations that i'm teaching help a person through personal experience help them to become familiar with these altered states how to distinguish between 
the energies of one chakra center and the next or another, and they build the capacity to build bridges between each chakra center, between each type of energy, so that you can draw upon them at will to assist. So I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, in this course, in this instruction that I'm offering to patrons, patreons only, I'm offering the best, the best that I know how to give. After a lifetime of study, and I'm still studying, but I'm, I'm going to offer the best, and that means I've got to work on this. I've got to work on the presentation. I've got to do, <coughs> excuse me, videos of meditations. I've got to really create the material so that I that it has some kind of semblance of organization, things like that. In other words, I got to put a lot of time and effort into this to make it the best that I have to offer and the most powerful that I have to offer. And that, for that reason, and for, that's one of the reasons, but basically that's why it's not... It's only for my supporters. I'm doing this for the people of the circle. I'm doing this for my own, the members of my own soul group. And I'm expecting something back from them to help me, to support me in what I'm trying to do. And in, in return for that support, I'm going to be giving you the best that I know how the best that I can. And I'm, most of that is going to be experience-based one way or another. So I, I'm going to be, it's really going to be unique because I, I'm bringing a lot of stuff from, I've tried to share from the sources that I have available to draw from. And <clears throat> I'm going to be drawing from all those sources, plus my own sources, my own experience. And these are things that other people have done. In other words, I've done energy ball meditations with groups of people, and each people, these groups have been successful. I've worked with some individuals, and these individuals have been successful. In fact, something that's surprising is there have been people who are scared of what's unleashed in doing, in doing these things when you're talking about some of these meditations and the process of rupturing the astral planes, all of that stuff. So that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm offering this training. The first step when you look at training, I'm gonna come out and say Back when I was 19 years old, I joined the Rosicrucian Order, AMARC, and I got weekly monographs from them for 22 years. I'm still a member of them. That was back in 76. I'm, I still am a member, and I'm still going back and reviewing some of the wisdom, some of the things from, from those monographs even though they've been rewritten. What, what I'm talking about is, okay, the Rosicrucian training, the curriculum that they have, at least 22 years, 
probably maybe more now. And I've done I've done it. I've gone through it. Okay, what about uh, Obad, the order of bards, ovates, and druids? I'm studying their material, and it's been three years. And some of that stuff is very incredible. Very, I'm learning a lot of stuff from that. And I could go on and on and on. Where I guess what I'm saying is I have studied long-term curriculums. And I realized that you're not going to have some quick answer. If you want if you want to know how to astral project, you're not going to be able to do it in two weeks. I mean, you're not going to know everything about it and have that personal experience in two weeks. There has to be solid foundations laid. There has to be experiments that work and that you can build upon. And I hope I'm making sense here because I'm offering this course, and this course is going to start at a beginning, and it's going to be building upon things. And the first thing that I'm going to be offering that, that's going to be talked about and shared and expected of each person that's doing it is connection to source. And connection to source is very simple. And I'm, I'm actually going to tell you right now what the, what I'm going to be doing and what that process really is. It's simple. You visualize a ball of energy about two inches above your head, and you have it spinning. And then you visualize a second ball of energy in the middle of your brain, and that's spinning too. And you have two balls, and you're visualizing both of them. And then you force them together until they just kind of snap together and your head just kind of goes boom. So what I'm talking about, there's, there's a specific thing to do. And there's a specific result that you get if you've done it correctly. And you cannot expect to develop any further if you have not done that, if you have not had that experience. The thing is, once you have done that, that creates a permanent pathway in your astral bodies, in your physical bodies. It creates a permanent energy pathway that you don't have to renew each time, but it, you can build build upon it. And the very first meditations that we're going to be doing is to do that very thing. Because when you're talking about occultism, when you're talking about metaphysics, when you're talking about magic, when you're talking about any of these things, one of the main drawbacks, one of the main lackings is people don't have enough energy. The only way that you can have enough energy realistically is to tap into source because that is an infinite source of positive energy. You can draw upon it infinitely. So that's the most important thing we, we can do. And that source also hap just happens to be under the control of your higher self or your holy guardian angel, whatever you want to call it. So that first, very first connection, that very first meditation, you can also call that initiation or connection to your holy guardian angel or connection to your higher self. And that holy guardian angel, that higher self, whatever is above what they call above the great abyss will be 
I'll be talking about a lot of these things later. But does that mean that you cross the great abyss when that happens? No. But it means the connection connects and your higher self can come down to you. Your holy guardian angel can come down to you. You still need to learn how to move up there and cross the abyss on your own. That's a further thing. And that that takes time and that's one of the things we'll be I'll be talking about how you can do that. But it does connect you to your source. It connects you energetically so that you are you can tap into that as a power source and use it as a power source. And that's one of the that's one of the first first things because it's a true source of power. It's not like drumming. It's not like dancing. It's not like fasting. It's not any of these things that wear you out. This is a power source that is perpetual and is the first step and the most important step in it. At How would I say this? If you're not tapping into source and or you're not tapping into Gaia, the womb of creation, you're not really doing magic, not in the truest sense of things, because this first meditation, this tapping into source, this initiation, if you will, there's no words to it. I, I already described what what your what the meditation what we'll be doing. It makes things happen, and you're connected to the cosmic cycle, which connects you to the solar cycles and connects you to the lunar cycles in ways that people write about, but they don't, they're not experiencing. This is offering personal experience. So what I'm saying is right away, we're starting out with something that you can experience personally that's life changing. And if you're not getting the results, you're not not doing the work. It's it's simple. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is I'm describing a mechanical process. It's a mechanical process that doesn't require theory. It does not require ritual. It does not require specialty items. It happens when you do these things. And it can have, you can find other ways of doing it, but these are the ways that have worked for me and they, they have worked for some other people that I've shown how to do. So tomorrow I'm going to have the first meditations and I'm going to have a talk, another talk, and they're only going to be available on my Patreon website. They're gonna, only going to be available to Patreons that are um, signed up at $5 a month. But I, and it is going to begin building the foundations. It's going to be a series, series of meditations that constantly grow and evolve along with lectures on why we're doing certain things or how, what my understanding of certain things is. Briefly, it's the best that I have to offer. And I will continue 
these occasional free videos that are for everybody, but each video is going to be given an update on what we're covering in the course for those that might be interested in it. So uh, that's that's going to, I'm still trying to do that. For, and I have to repeat, this is for intended com solely for people of my own soul group, solely for people who feel drawn to what I have to share. And to literally repel those that are not suitable in any way or shape. And this is, I'm starting this, this is being triggered by this summer solstice. After 30 years, it's been, it's been over 30 years since I first crossed the Great Abyss. And I've spent that last 30 years regaining my earth connection after losing it. And regaining it in a very solid way, very solid fashion. It also comes when we're talking about alchemy. There's a point in a person, if, for an alchemist, there's a point that's called like magical retirement. It's where you have developed your astral bodies. You've developed the soul and its powers to a certain point. And what happens is you begin, it's, it's a stage that's called the multiplication of the philosopher's stone. What that is, what that means, is the time when you begin to replicate what you are, what you have, to others. It gets passed on. That's where I'm at. It gets passed on. I'm replicating for those that are interested, for those that are a part of my own soul group. And everybody else can go pound sand, as far as I'm concerned, okay? Um, so I, I'm, it's not so. I'm just trying to share the best that I know for the best students that I can find. And I guess I've beat that to a pulp. So I am going to just stop for now. Um, tomorrow, I am going to have at least the first meditation out. But I'm going to try, I'm going to have two meditations. There's going to, this is how, this is what you can expect to find tomorrow by the end of the day. I might, I might get some of this done tonight, but some of it tomorrow. There's going to be a lecture that's called Oak uh, Tantra and Etheric Warrior Lecture 001. Then there's going to be a meditation that is going to be that initial oak energy ball meditation that's designed for the individual. And there's going to be the same meditation that is designed for a group where you visualize yourself in a group setting because they both come at the same issue, the same connection from totally different ways. And if a person has trouble with one type of meditation, they can try the other one and it might work a little better. You should be able to work successfully with both the individual energy ball meditations and the group energy ball meditations. But that's three things. You have the lecture, which is going to be a 
001, then 001A is going to be a meditation that's an individual meditation. 001B is going to be that same meditation but in a group setting. And we will go from there. That is the first starting point. The first starting point, the first mile marker is a permanent connection to source, a permanent connection to power, uh, the spiritual light, and an explanation of just exactly how that is going to work. We'll go on from that point. So thank you for your time. I hope this answers any questions. Uh, if you want to know more about it, comment. I'll try to answer. But this whole material is for Patreons only. Thank you.